So the first step is to simply restart your computer. So restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to verify the game files. Do not ignore this step. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. This is a common step, but don't ignore it. Go to the game, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is complete, you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to try DX11. If not working, then try DX12. So when you launch the game, now when you launch the game from Steam, you see a pop-up which says play Pacific Drive DX12 and play Pacific Drive DX11. So if you are trying DX12, then you can put a check on DX11 and then click on play. If you are already trying DX11, then you can try DX12 and then check. So try both and then check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to try these launch option. Now go to the game, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now in the launch option under general tab, type in dash DX11. Now close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time you can type in dash DX12 and then you can close this and launch the game. Still not working, in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, in that case open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder and then open the common folder. Now over here open the Pacific drive folder. Select the game exe file. Now click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on add an allowed app once again, browse all apps, open pen drive pro folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open once the game is added now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder Select the game exe file, click on open, now click on add. In my case, this is already added. Once added, click on allow another app once again. Again, click on browse, open pen driver pro, binaries, win64. Select this exe file, now click on open, now click on add. Now, once the game is added over here, now click on OK on the bottom. Now, launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So you can make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to the second tab over here. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, open this folder. Binaries win64, select this exe file, make a right click, select properties, and then Again, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game. Still not working, then go back, make a right click on the first exe file, select properties. Again, go to the same tab, put a check on the box which says over here, and then select Windows 8, apply, OK, launch the game. If that does not work, try Windows 7, apply. OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization. Click on apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, go to this folder, binaries. Do the same thing with this exe file. Right click, properties, put a check over here. 
try windows 8 if that does not work you can try windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization apply ok make a double click launch the game still not working make a right click select properties so if checking all these boxes does not help then you can uncheck this box if it does not work you can uncheck these boxes do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and uncheck all these boxes apply ok follow the next step next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files for this now before you do this let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch to delete or rename the save game files you can go to file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder now if you don't see app data over here on the top click on view select show show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and check if you find the yeah here you can see pen driver pro folder open this folder open saved folder here you can see the save game files so go back and simply rename this pen driver pro folder make a right click and then rename and you can name it as pen driver pro dot old now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can delete this file but let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can make a right click and then click on delete and once this is deleted now launch the game and then check next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia 
So go to NVIDIA website and then select the right product type. For me, it's GeForce and then select the right product series. Select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Now scroll down. The latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 551. Dot five two. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box. Put a check on custom, select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all, it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver. And after that, restart the computer. Restart is a must and then launch the game. Now, the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in, uh, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder now once you open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open pen driver pro binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 you have to download this c++ file and download both x86 and x64 install both these two files so click on x86 now run this exe file once the download is complete and you have to download both x86 and x64 so just uh, download it and then run this exe file and then once both the files are installed restart the computer make sure that you restart the computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version so make sure that your windows is up to date do not ignore this go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have any external devices which you are not using disconnect it also if you have sometimes you have additional controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn it off and then launch the game also if you have any other overlay application like discord or g force experience running so if you have any other overlay application running close it also close all the overclocking applications so if you have like msi afterburner or river tuner or any kind of overclocking application make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game also close all the third party application and services in task manager so if you have any like third party application running over here make sure that you close everything you can just exit all the third parties application and services and then launch the game also including all your browsers and third party application if you have underworld 3d computer remove the underworld and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game now if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game launch the game switch to window mode and lower down graphic settings so if the quality preset is set to 
high or ultra you can set it to medium or low quality and then check the la the next step is to update system bios so go to your system manufacturer website and and update your system bios make sure that you select your computer like if you have asus computer go to asus if you have hp computer go to hp website if you have a dell computer go to dell website select your model number select your computer and then find the latest bios update and then update your system bios now in case of laptop make sure your battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system bios during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to, and this is the last step, uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. Suppose if the game is installed to another drive, in that case you can try installing the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed in C drive, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.